And the sons of the prophets said to Elisha, Behold now, the place where we dwell before thee is too constricted for us. Let us go, we pray thee, to the Yordan, and take thence every man a beam, and let us make us a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be pleased, I pray thee, to go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them, and when they came to the Yordan, they cut down wood. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, my master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he showed him the place. And he cut down a stick, and cast it in thither, and made the iron to swim. And he said, Take it up to thee. So he put up his hand, and took it. Now the king of Aram was warring against Yishrael, and he took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. And the man of God sent to the king of Yishrael, saying, Beware that thou passed not such a place, for thither the Aramim are coming down. And the king of Yishrael sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of, and he saved himself there, not once nor twice. And the heart of the king of Aram was sore troubled for this thing, and he called his servants and said to them, Will ye not show me which of us is for the king of Yishrael? And one of his servants said, Nay, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Yishrael, telleth the king of Yishrael the words that thou speakest in thy bedroom. And he said, Go and see where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, a host with horses and chariots was round about the city. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that are with us are more than they that are with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And Yahweh opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed to Yahweh and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness, according to the word of Elisha. And Elisha said to them, This is not the way, neither is this the city. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom ye seek. And he led them to Shomoron. And it was when they were come into Shomoron that Elisha said, Yahweh, open the eyes of these men that they see. And Yahweh opened their eyes and they saw. And behold, they were in the midst of Shomoron. And the king of Yishrael said to Elisha when he saw them, my father, shall I smite them? Shall I smite them? And he answered, Thou shalt not smite them. Wouldst thou smite those whom thou hast taken captive with thy sword and with thy bow? Set bread and water before them, that they eat and drink, and go to their master. And he prepared great provision for them, and when they had eaten and drunk, he sent them away, 
and they went to their master, and the bands of Aram came no more into the land of Yishrael. And it was after this that ben king of Aram, gathered all his host and went up and besieged Shomron. And there was a great famine in Shomron, and behold, they besieged it until a donkey's head was sold for eighty pieces of silver, and the fourth part of a cub of dove's dung for five pieces of silver. And as the king of Yishrael was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman to him, saying, Help, my lord, O king! And he said, If Yahweh do not help thee, whence shall I help thee? Out of the threshing floor, or out of the wine press? And the king said to her, What aileth thee? And she answered, This woman said to me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son, and did eat him. And I said to her on the next day, Give thy son, that we may eat him. And she hath hid her son. And it was, when the king heard the words of the woman, that he rent his clothes. Now he was passing by upon the wall. And the people looked, and behold, he had sackcloth within upon his flesh. Then he said, God do so to me and more also, if the head of Elisha, the son of Shaphat, shall stand on him this day. But Elisha was sitting in his house, and the elders were sitting with him, and the king sent a man from before him. But before the messenger came to him, he said to the elders, See ye how this son of a murderer hath sent to take away my head. Look, when the messenger cometh, shut the door, and hold the door fast against him. Is not the sound of his master's feet behind him? And while he was yet talking with them, behold, the messenger came down to him, and he said, Behold, this evil is of Yahweh. Why should I wait for Yahweh any longer?' 